I'm here literally all the way in the back of the line. If you look, we're turned all the way over. I'm here with Ethan, Amen. So you said you came here because he recommended it, right? Yeah, yeah. So city-wise, where are you from? Uh, Chicago suburbs, southwest. Okay, so it, how long was the drive for you? Uh, roughly an hour. Oh man, same thing yeah. for you? Yeah, same place. So, so, you've tried this before? No, never. You've never tried it before? I got it recommended to me from another guy, and I saw a picture of the food. It, was, it looked pretty good. It just looked like food porn, right? Yeah, it, literally, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so would you come here to try today? Uh, I want to get the, uh, the Vinders burger and then uh, some of the birria tacos. Those are the two things I want to try. Roughly half the menu. <laughs> what well, caught my attention was the Cheetos burrito and the tacos. I mean, you wait out, out for an hour, you might as well try as much as possible. Oh, right? yeah, we're going mm -hmm. to make, make it worth it. I like these guys. I like these guys. Hopefully, I get to be as big as them, literally height-wise. So we got Mexi Papa here. What's what's my new nickname? What is it? Me wait, what is it? Mexi what? <laughs> Mexi Papita. So I'm just having a good time here, really. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But you got some tacos, huh? You, you got, got some, some tacos. tacos. I saw they given. I've been eating all day. Like I've been devouring food. Given it settled down, I took a walk. So now I'm able to eat three again, and I'm super happy. But they told us the red salsa goes in here. Yes. You get to mix it up, add some spice in it. Okay. And I didn't do that earlier, so this is new uh, to me. You, you have to do this. There spice it up a little. Woo-wee! Let's have Ready? some fun. Provecho. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. The face says it all. You don't even have to say anything. I am speechless right now. But tortilla, nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. The meat, nice and soft, cheesy. And then this consomme, very different from what I'm used to. Cilantro, cebollita, texture is different, very lean. And then I can definitely taste the carrot. Mm -hmm. It's just nice added seasoning to it. Again, something different, but difference never a bad thing. Well, the carrot only does, it just brings a little more sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. But overall, not greasy at all. Look at that. And the tacos have a lot of meat in it. So you can be done with two and you're fine. Oh, so we got three. We're just enjoying ourselves right now. I'm already on number two. <laughs> and then let me show you something. Mm -hmm. The broth, yes, you can, you can dip your taco in there, but you can also sip it. Huh? Have you ever done that? No, no. No, you sip it. Well, cheers, like cheers. Gotta yeah. enjoy it. Ooh, and has a good yeah. kick because of the salsa in yeah. there as well. You can also be driving, yeah. be sipping in one of these. Seriously. So it's not just to dip your taco, but you can even you can even go like this. But so I'm just taking notes now. I'm just taking notes. I'm learning. See me. I drive, I'll be driving on my knees, with both hands like this. <laughs> Just. But try it. Bite and then zip. Seriously. Earlier, I almost choked on one of these because I got too excited. I was eating too fast. So I just decided to swallow. I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> well, Like I said, buy, mm -hmm. buy your taco and then take a sip. Right? Well done. Mm. Wow. It's weird. It's just like a whole different style. Mm. And it changes the flavor. Mm. It actually does change the flavor. Just a preference of do you want to dip it or do you want to sip it. Well, when you buy your taco by itself, mm -hmm. then now you get a little crunchy. That, now you get it all real. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can just sip it and then get the whole experience of... It's like cookies and milk. You want to duck it in there or you want to have it on the side? It's your choice. <laughs> Oh, this is good. But seriously, the taco experience here has been really good. And it's I'll different. Be, yeah. You know, when you're in LA, it's just a different style. Same thing with here. It might be the same taco, but different seasoning, different cheeses maybe, different broths. You know, it's a different experience. But, you know, which experience to you is better? It depends on the on the mood, depends on the day. You know, sometimes LA is better. So it's like it's like New York versus Chicago pizza. Sometimes you want thin crust, you know, that, that folds, or sometimes you want deep dish. You know, it depends on the day and depends on what you want. <laughs> but both phenomenal. And you're right. You cannot be comparing. Mm -hmm. LA is LA, mm -hmm. Chicago is Chicago. 
Arizona is Arizona. Everybody is very unique at what they do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to learn that. Uh, the wrong thing to say is, well, they don't do them this way over there. Mm -hmm. They don't do them like that. No, you, you got to see what the city brings you. Mm -hmm. And this is probably one of Chicago's best. So I'm loving it. And for I'm, a company who's been around for, I think, only eight months. Yeah, eight months. <laughs> like, think about that. That's freaking awesome. Yeah. I'm very impressed with everything, seriously. Um, to get this tortilla right at that, it's kind of hard to do. Mm -hmm. Seems easy at the grill. Yeah. But get it nice and little crunchy a little bit where it doesn't, doesn't fall apart. For me, I have tostadas, but that's always by accident because I cook my tortillas too long. <laughs> He's sipping on his juice now. You gotta, you gotta listen. You gotta take advice. Like I was saying earlier, you gotta be coachable. You never know. <laughs> you gotta swallow your pride and be like, all right, let's let's try it. And you're like, damn, he was right. This is pretty good. <laughs> but you know, with the comparing, like you were saying earlier, yeah, things might be different, but that's how you stand out. Mm. If everything's the same, what makes you, you know, pop out like everything else? Mm. Nothing. You gotta be different. You gotta be the weird one. This is different. So, not only you can kick some ass in the ring, this guy can also eat tacos. And he knows his tacos. That's what I'm pretty impressed. Pretty good. I'm a faggot at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a faggot at heart. So, are you planning to become a foodie after your career? You know, right now I'm starting my food reviews. The reason why is because I want to help businesses, especially after COVID. COVID definitely struggled with a lot of problems. You know, bars are closing down, having to adapt to gastro bars or bars and grills just to make some money. Pop-up shops couldn't do what they wanted to do. So for me, I wanted to help. And I love food in general. Every time fight week, that's how I discovered you. That's how I discovered so many people. Of, I'm looking at food porn. I'm just like going through like, oh, I want this. I'm writing down a list. These are the places I need to try. And then I have review guys telling me, this is good. Nah, this is okay. Or maybe this is better than that. So for me, I, I just love recommending great stuff to people, and especially food. If I can be a foodie and make a living off of it, awesome. That's that's like a fat kid's dream, you know? But we'll see one day. Right now, I'm still getting punched in the face for a living. So maybe 10 more years, 10 more years, we'll see. I'm not getting punched right now, but- uh, Lucky. <laughs> I would love to invite you. Come to LA. Um, the tacos, the street tacos over there are freaking amazing. I've always wanted to, and that's something I still haven't had in LA is just street tacos, street food. Yeah. Those are the best mom and pop shops. When I do my reviews, I'm not going to the chains. They're already popular, they're already successful and have their thing. Me, I'm on to look to the people just like us, the average Joe's trying to come up, trying to make a living, and trying to stand out like these media tacos. And for me, you know, that's coming to a, a, a mom and pop shop, places like LA where there's a whole street full of stuff, yeah. that's, a, that's a taco, you know, galore dream. Yes. When you think of Tacos de Birria in mm -hmm. Chicago, I, I think now of Prime Taco. Mm -hmm. It seems like this is the spot. And out on the street, beautiful family, tacos are good. What else do you want? <laughs> I just like food in general. But for me, there's not many birria style tacos in Chicago in general. But just to be able to make some, stand out the way they do, and then collaborate with different companies like Inches Michas, the, uh, I believe it's Foodie from the Shy. They're helping not just themselves and their family, but helping the people around them. And I think that's just outstanding. What would you tell old Chicago that hasn't been here? For me, I think it's definitely try new things. You have to try it. You don't know what's your favorite until you try it. It's like when you go to a place and they go, oh, I like that. Well, have you tried this? No. Well, you don't know if you like that too. Why not put it out there? So for me, open up, especially if you're a taco lover. Get out there, try BDI, try pork belly, try this, try that, why not? And see if you like it. And for me, Prime Tacos is the spot to where you're gonna find something you definitely enjoy. Well, I am loving it, bro. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me. Thank you that for was, having me. That Thank was, you that for was joining really me good. as well. Well, that was the <laughs> There you go. So, I'm the mini him. It's like mini me and Dr. Evil. So, but we're not evil, we're just having a blast. We had prime tacos, you had peaches, meaches as well. What do you think of peaches, meaches? The whole micheladas and, and mixing it up. 
You know, that was a, a Michelada experience, that's for sure. Because they brought out not just different flavors, but uh, the ceviche was good. Mm -hmm. And then you, you have it in there. Surprisingly. Yeah. You can usually do ceviche, discipline and michelada, different flavors. It was just really good. And for me, like, again, you're having a michelada, you're having a, an alcoholic drink. I don't know, you get ceviche on top, and the other one had a bunch of candy mixed with chamoy. You're like, that's not really what I was really com you know, coming for. I came for the michelada, but then you have this, you're like, that's a nice little surprise. It's almost like a nice chaser, too, if, you know, depending on what you like with your drinks. But for prime tacos and the Bidia tacos, again, from L.A., Bidia is huge. What do you think about this? See, Birria, it's it hits a uh, home for me. Mm -hmm. First of all, Jalisco. I'm from Jalisco. That's where the Birria was born. So I, I had it since I was a kid. Now in LA, everybody and their mama make Birria on the mm -hmm. street. So Birria is huge. Mm -hmm. um, so got to learn a lot from Birria, their style. Came here, Chicago. Chicago has birria tacos now. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Very different, but delicious. And that's the best thing is trying to stand out, especially from LA. They're very, very popular. Taco trucks everywhere, taco stands everywhere, birria tacos everywhere. So being able to come here, bring it, and change up the game and have it approved by a person who loves this stuff, who's originated in you know in this you know style is a big, big thing. So would you say this is Mexi Papa approved? All day, baby. Mexi Papa proof, definitely. And what is my nickname again? What is it? Mexi, <laughs> Mexi Papito, Papita. Pa we'll, we'll call him Mexi Papito, because he's little. And for me, this is not just Shorty approved, but it's also all three of them Mexi Papito approved. So I appreciate it. We're out of here. <laughs>